Hello. My code name is Mr. Windpipe, and I will be narrating this week's episode of The Lie Detector. Conspiracy. A man and his van. For many years, Ken has been on a quest to uncover the truth and expose all the lies. I've worked with Ken on many cases and can testify to his professionalism and dedication. Ken attributes much of his success to his van. Give us a tour, Ken. Where should I start? I got a lot of stuff in this van, but I think the things towards the end, I think here I'll point out. The first thing I have here is the ever important incident frequency modulator. And in order to use it on the road, I have this satellite dish. So I hook it up with the dish on the roof. Uh, when I've used that, I've sometimes pulled in frequencies and it comes through this component, changes color when there's any change in the atmosphere. I have a couple specimens. This would be the first. Found this along the banks of the old Mississippi. This I found by accident. I also found this odd little hand. Then in order to while away the hours if I need to sleep in my van, I, I have my record player with and some 33 RPMs. I don't like keeping them in the jackets. And that's it for this back part. Alright, this is the part of the van where I operate and navigate from. Um, it's pretty basic. It's got these cranked down windows. I believe in these instead of the electric ones because those can be hacked. And it's got a signal or two and a single ignition uh, it's got uh, dual wiper blades and it has a frequency system in here where I can play cassette transmissions and pick up some of the radio frequencies also I have a couple secret compartments. Down here is where I keep my emergency kit, which definitely always includes some food, extra quarter oil, a charger, a metal book, These are special gloves I wear uh, when I know I shouldn't be lifting certain specimens that seem alien because they can be harmful to the skin. So I always wear these. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Don't need a whole lot um, to get where I'm going. So that's it. Ken's van isn't without its idiosyncrasies. On occasion, the engine can be finicky.
And a most unique feature is perhaps the fact that the van is haunted. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed watching Ken Spiracy, A Man and His Van. Next week, Ken will be back with another exciting episode involving storage bins. Are storage bins really what we think they are, or could it be they want to take over the world? Be sure and watch to find out. Everything. <laughs>